Good morning. Good morning. From the Bahamas again. Yes. Ocean K. We didn't go anywhere last night. Nope. We're still tied up. We are. And we are going to do something you haven't seen us do yet so far on this cruise. Hmm. Have breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Check out the main dining room and see what that looks like. Let's do that. So let's get this day started. Then we're going to go explore the island and show you a little bit more of that. Mm -hmm. Hi, welcome to MSC Seaside. Yes, and be sure to watch this video for a hidden letter and watch all seven days of this cruise and add up all those letters to create the secret word. So we are pleased to announce that Level 8 has partnered with us to sponsor this contest. So let's get looking for that letter. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. And today's breakfast eating dress is pink. Some kind of meshy, strappy looking shoulders. <laughs> and about ooh, one quarter length. But short is too short for breakfast. Syrup, no, no uh, sauces. Like I don't want blueberry or strawberry sauce, but syrup, please. Thank you. Thank you. They have a baked apple, so I'm gonna give that a try, and I'm gonna have some pancakes. It's, it's the, the goody tray. The temptation it's tray here. Is that nuts in them? Yes, walnuts. No, I'll have the blueberry muffin, please. Thank you. <laughs> So breakfast arrived. Oh yes, I grabbed a little muffin off of the little temptation tray, I like to call it. Um, I have some pancakes today and I tried the baked apple too. We're back from breakfast. How was your breakfast? It was good. Lots of uh, staff there. The service was great. Food was good. I enjoyed my pancakes. Oh, where am I looking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the camera is. Anyways, yeah, no, it was all very good. The mm -hmm. blueberry muffin was delicious. Really liked it. Yeah, I think How that... How was your uh, warm tea? My tea was good, yes. Yeah, some of the stereotypes that we're hearing about MSC before we got on board, we haven't found yet. Yeah, that's true. Like, we haven't seen anything about too much work, not enough staff, or staff not being friendly. Yeah. They've been all really good, so. Yeah, we, we decided to try the dining room staff again and uh, just overwhelmed with the amount of staff that were there to help us and do everything, everything was great. So it looks like going to breakfast dress is the same as going to the beach dress, but you throw in a backpack as an accessory. I feel like I've done this before. Yeah, a little deja vu. We are off the ship again. It's two days in a row we almost got off the ship and had to go back. Oh. Yesterday we forgot towels, today I forgot my hat. So we're starting to get forgetful in our cruising age. <laughs> but, okay, we're gonna figure out what to do now that we're here. Dropped off by the little shuttle. Pretty well comes back to exactly where we were yesterday. So really it doesn't take you very far. There across the lagoon there, there's more seating. And I believe drinks and everything else, but you have to walk to get all the way out of there that there's no shuttle there, which is the farthest point. So it's kind of odd. <laughs> I would have thought they would have shuttled to the farthest point, but they shuttled to the closest beach. How do you like your home? Almost like being a tent under Palm tree tent we got. Here we go. Is that the definition of paradise? <laughs> I am reading Orphans of War right now. Almost done it. Mm -hmm. Just a quiet, relaxing day on the beach. Perfect. Ideal. Just relaxing on the beach here at Ocean K. I'm going to show you what I'm seeing when I'm looking straight up. Okay, Mrs. Canuck is coming back with our first drinks of the day. Let's take a look. First drinks of the day? <laughs> yeah. First drinks of the day, a little bit of water. Could have pretended they were beer. <laughs> so this is what a perfect day looks like. 
in Ocean Cave. Sitting here in the shade under a palm tree, this is our view. Mr. Canuck is busy over here relaxing, a little bit of music on his own headphones going in while he's taking it all in. Look at those dancing feet he's got going on here. He's obviously having a great time. And I just wanted to say to everybody that asks, why do you travel so much? It's for days like this. This is just bliss. This is what we all work so hard to achieve in life, is to be able to be happy and relaxed and have a great day like today. This is my idea of paradise. I'm so happy for everybody that watches and enjoys our adventures as we explore the beautiful world that we have and gorgeous beaches like this, getting to share it with someone as amazing as Jerry back there. And it's just the icing on the top for me. Hey, so it is beach time. Hey. Hey. It's hot. It is hot. It's about 11 o'clock and it's hot. Water. Uh, hopefully the water is cool. It was getting warm yesterday during the day. Yeah, the water. Huh. Well, that didn't it? Okay, we're going into this blue stuff right here. Finally a chance to cool off. Mm. So, it's been an adventure. It's been an adventure. First I forgot my hat. Then we got to the beach and realized that all the way back of the ship was the snorkeling gear. We went to go get snorkeling gear. And then we finally went to get in the water and I realized that I had my Fitbit on, so I had to go take it off. Then I almost got in the water, realized I had my key card still in my pocket. I had to go <laughs> drop it off. I so I'm having some senior moments. I today. think I'm having forgetful moments, but I think that I've got my steps in today. Yeah, so. there you go. And if there's Ooh. a place to get your steps in, I think this looks like it. Oh, uh, this is paradise. fish stores. <laughs> Supposedly there's fish and you'll know because you're gonna see them in the footage. Yeah but the times you wish you had the camera on. I have a fish story for you. Oh god here we go. I was standing right about here and also in something beside me splash like something big big huge splash and then I look over I didn't see anything but there was these fish there must have been about 50 of them and they all were skimming the surface doing this type of thing in unison all the way across the water and of course I didn't have the camera so I had to live with whatever was beneath that big splash. It always happens to me. There's a moon out today. Can I'm you see that? Moon? <laughs> Up in the sky, out in the beach, is the moon's out today. Things may look larger wider? than they appear. <laughs> you probably can't hear it. It's about with the dome in there, I'll play probably here. Oh, that's true too. You might be able to hear us now. You were stuck inside a dome a second ago when you heard us going. <laughs> this is what we really sound like when we're coming out of the water. Time to hurry a drink. Yes. Maybe even a nibble. Yes. I think it's lunchtime. Beautiful weather. Couldn't ask for much more here. It's gorgeous. 
Okay, went and grabbed some lunch. Yeah, there's some french fries for me. Mojito to drink. I'm trying a couple of burgers, fries, miscellaneous stuff. This is from the food truck instead of the buffet. This says Canuck is headed back to the water and I have my drink and I am following. So, a little Long Island iced tea. And look at the weather. It's gorgeous here. Are you drinking and swimming? Drinking and swimming. Uh oh. I'm floating and swimming. <laughs> Maybe that makes it acceptable? Sure. What about you? Turn the camera on you. I'm standing. Standing and drinking. <laughs> okay. Pretty sure standing in water and drinking is legally acceptable. Uh oh. What are you doing now? I'm floating and drinking, but my feet are still on the ground, so it's legal. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. The camera's over here. Oh, no, it's over there. <laughs> Meanie. Good camera work, baby. Thanks. <laughs> you want to move your cup? No. No? I'm busy relaxing. Are you? Yeah. Mm. I'm off the clock from vlogging. You're off the clock from <laughs> vlogging? Yep. Taking a little pause? Yep. <laughs> Enjoying some rest and relaxation. Mm -hmm. Beautiful here. This water is gorgeous. Pretty empty here compared to yesterday. I guess a lot of people stay on the ship on the second day in Ocean K. No issue trying to get a beach chair or a spot in the lagoon. It's beautiful here. Yeah, I'm sure there's a jellyfish that bit you. That's exactly what happened. With your shoulder out of the water. <laughs> the jellyfish that swim on the top. They get me every time. <laughs> <laughs> they fly, do they? Flying jellyfish. Flying jellyfish? <laughs> Flying jellyfish. You heard it here first from Mr. Canuck. That's what gets me every Flying time. Flying jellyfish has bitten him. How are you making out there? How's that t-shirt getting on make, happening? This is what it's like after being in salt water. Put your shirt on. Feel great? <laughs> it looks really good, I'm sure. Yes. Phenomenal. Even still. <laughs> so nice. You see my pecs. <laughs> is that what they call those? For my abs? <laughs> okay, I think I got it. <laughs> She's off again. I can never keep up with her. Doesn't matter how fast I walk, run. She's like a cheetah. Cheetah Canuck. It's your new nickname. Sorry? Cheetah Canuck. Cheetah Canuck? <laughs> You're so fast, nobody can keep up with you. Right. Beach day is done. I'm not sure where we're going to now. We're making a curve to the left for some reason. But run away back to the ship, or maybe to the bar before the ship. A little bit of walking back to the ship footage. Hot. It's hot. Hot. It's just right. I don't know. Too hot for me still. Too hot to handle? Mm-hmm. There's the seaside. Right there. Hasn't moved in two days. Yeah. Hopefully the engines still work. Well, maybe hopefully not. Just huh? stay here forever. That'd be nice. <laughs> we could probably do this for another couple of months. We could stay in those cabins on the ship, or we could stay at these ones. Look really nice for the crew. Yeah. That's the look of happiness. If you can see the bar she's been walking to in the I hot can, heat. I can see shade. <laughs> we are heading to Springer's Bar. Huh. Well, there's no chairs up here at the end today. Sorry. There you go. That's what I found. What's wrong with my chairs? No chairs are good. Well, you can stay in the chair. If you like. I'm going to sit in a okay. chair. So between the beach and the boat, there is a bar that serves cold drinks. Which is great on a very hot day. You only have to do half the walk and you can stop for a cool, refreshing cocktail. I'm having a Bahama Mama since I'm here in the Bahamas. Crew's hair don't care. That's what's happening oh, right now, like everybody. You, you look like it's you like, cared. It's everywhere. <laughs> You're lying. You care. No, the breeze in it is nice. It cools it down. You are done with your bar? We are. We officially spilt a drink. It's time to go. We? <laughs> you. <laughs> Someone spilt a drink. It was you. <laughs> Does that sound like me spilling drinks? Yes. No. Not me at all. And it's not because you had too many. It was your only drink you had there. It wasn't like you were there having multiple rounds. It was just one drink, but you spilled half of it. Huh. Mm -hmm. I was distracted by the people from Carolina. Yeah. I get to drive to their cruises and they don't have to fly. Yeah, we met a nice <laughs> couple, their first cruise ever. We're going back here. Take a look. MSC Seaside is growing large in front of us. We 
are cleaned up from the beach and we are in search of our second lunch. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing pretty good. We've been fasting and skipping breakfast, so we have room for two lunches every day. I didn't <laughs> skip breakfast today. Oh, someone had breakfast and she's having two lunches. Every time we go down the stairs, I don't have to describe your dress because everybody can see it from the front and the back. Okay, before going for second lunch, we took a look at what was for dinner tonight, so we know how much to eat for second lunch. Might be a lot. I am right behind you. I'm right here. <laughs> Into the buffet we go with some plans to eat. And there's always pizza. Veggie is one of my favorites. There we go. Lots of bread if you love those carbs. We're looking at some offerings here. This one has my attention. Slow cooked ground meat with chipotle and pineapple. Hmm. May have to try that. And some fruit. My plums have disappeared. Kids only. Still looking for those chicken nuggets I haven't found yet. Stay with me here. This is gonna get a little complicated, but I'm gonna show you what I got at the buffet. So I got some pasta right here and buried underneath. This is a kid's burger, little tiny meatball looking thing. So I grabbed some of that. This is Kung Pao tofu. So that sounds really promising. A little bit of rice and some slow cooked ground beef. I think I showed you that earlier. And my go-to pizza here on MSC, the vegetarian pizza. what do you find over there for something totally different than what I had? I have some pork loin, uh, a fish, and beef, and a baked potato. And a CD bun. CD bun. Okay, after two days, we're officially sailing away of Ocean Key. We go. Beautiful blue seas out here today. Relatively calm. We are officially moving again. We have left Ocean K after two days. Two glorious days there, actually. Yeah, so our engines work <laughs> and we're good to go for a sea day until we get to Cosmo. Right. So we came back. You saw we had a little bit of a snack. Some may not call that a snack, but it was a snack. It was a lunch <laughs> for me. But. <laughs> and uh, now we are ready to go out for some pre-dinner drinks. It is 5 o'clock, but our dining is until 7.15. Mm. So 2 hours and 15 minutes to find some music and something to drink. Oh. So Ocean K, all in all. Loved it. You loved it? The food on the island uh, needs a lot to be improved, in my opinion. But the actual island itself, the snorkeling, the swimming, the lounges, the amount of space. You never felt like you were in a crowd. So all of that was great. For sure. If I could combine the food from Half Moon Key mm. from Holland America yeah. with the band that I've heard playing at Princess Keys Ooh, at the bar yeah. with all the different beach options here at Ocean K, I would have the perfect day perfect. at one of these <laughs> getaway keys. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's a beautiful, beautiful spot. And the drink package works on the island, so that's another yeah, that's plus compared to some. Princess does that too, but I know Holland America, your drink package doesn't work while you're at their private island. So, yeah. Yep. So, yeah. So that's our impressions. After two days of being here, mm -hmm. we would come back again. We definitely would, yes. So let's go get some of those drinks. We're a little dehydrated from all that swimming and walking through the heat. Mm. Someone did a little extra walking because I forgot my snorkeling gear in the cabin. So what a nice guy. He decided to go back and get it for me. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's do it. We are leaving. Arr. Yes. I'm trying to find enough words to Whoops. describe this outfit today. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry, we have a new outfit. So I'm going to have to get critiqued now, am I? This is white and black, but mainly white because only half is black and white but it does have some 45 degree angle stripes on just the starboard side of the dress. Starboard side. <laughs> Two little black straps, white and black shoes, if you can see them down there. And when the mirror comes up, we'll see the front in a second. Oh. The front is equally confusing. Equally confusing. There it is, people. Did I, did I, uh, <laughs> the front. Foggle your mind with this one? And curly hair. Off to find that drink. We decided to take the new dress down the Swarovski crystal staircase. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle, sparkle with those new shoes. Professional vlogging, doing stairs and focusing all at the same time. Well, we have found some drinks at the main atrium, but it's 
actually busier than it was the last couple of nights down here. So couldn't get seats down the next level, so we came out to the Champagne Bar, where there's always seats. <laughs> the most street packages don't work up here, so that's why there's usually lots of seating. Right. What are you drinking today? It's in a different glass. Well, it is a different glass, but it's the same drink. It's a Cosmo, but Still they must have ran out of Cosmo glasses. They're so busy down there. Found a little Crown Royal over there, right beside the Seagram 7. There we go. We're here at the Seaside Bar. Hi. See, we're here. We're here. It's beautiful. The main atrium, yeah. It's a gorgeous spot. Yeah, take a look. My classic Cosmo. Done right. Okay, tonight they're saying we're having a Caribbean dinner. Some shrimp tails, some guacamole and tortillas, Creole seafood. Hmm. Black and red snapper tonight is the chef's suggestion. Yeah, I don't know. So what kind of shrimp do you think you're having? Guadalupe, am I right? Guadalupe. Why do you say it like that? Face? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what's so specific about Guadalupe shrimp. Do they make it different than everywhere else? I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna find out tonight. I'm gonna try it. Okay, my first appetizer has arrived tonight. I'm trying the French onion soup. Mm. And over here, what's that called? Guadalupe. Guadalupe shrimp tails. There you but go. But it's the whole shrimp, so, so I'm not sure why it's shrimp tails confused to me looks good my second appetizer has arrived it is guacamole with four chips dinner has arrived i'm trying some pasta with alfredo sauce so i'm gonna give that a try <laughs> and over here i have the red gooper snapper red snapper oh yeah that makes more sense what did i say gooper i ate <laughs> gooper at lunch this is red snapper. <laughs> Dessert has arrived. I am having the key lime pie. And I am having the, I'm going, I'm continuing on with the Caribbean theme. Everything I've had has been Caribbean. This is the rum cake. We are going into the theater. Doing the long hallway on the bottom level, I believe. We're gonna pop out in the middle of the theater. There we go. Trying to find a seat. This is where the main theater. And there's a show, rock and roll show tonight. Mm -hmm. So we're not allowed to record it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. If it's as good as the first night, then it's a shame we can't show you. Oh, yeah. But we'll let you know what it's like when we're getting out. This <laughs> next famous song just came on. First time we've heard it on MSC in three days. And she's getting ready for the chorus, I can tell. Here we go. Even on MSC, guys. We are calling it. <laughs> it is midnight, and we're back to our cabin. Oh, thought maybe you lost the key. Here's the key. Hello. Hi. It is bedtime. It is. Clocks are going back an hour tonight. Oh, that's good for us. An and extra hour. Extra hour of sleep, and uh, we caught the show after dinner. Again, everything is stepped back for us, so show was late getting out and then we met uh one of our subscribers mm -hmm. gary we chatted with him for a while we had the evening we had a little bit of uh, caught some of the rock and roll main atrium show it was packed full of people everybody was there with music going yeah it's hard to film much of that we might have given you a little glimpse 
Yeah, it's hard to show much uh, with copyright music and so forth. It's kind of show you the crowds. We'll see how the music part sounds. But uh, yeah, hopefully you saw a bit of it. And tomorrow's our first sea day. So yes. looking forward to see what it's like on the ship uh, and see how it feels with this many people all not getting off this time for a couple of days. So True. So Might gonna... be a different experience, right? Mm. So, anyways, we will see you in the morning. And thanks for watching. Tomorrow will be day number four. I'm bored of the seaside here. Good night. Night.